Shaq was clearly the most dominant. I think Shaq is the most dominant force we've ever seen other than Will Chamberlain. In our lifetime. In our lifetime, yeah. okay? Yeah. That's the most dominant force. And I'm not throwing any shade whatsoever. But not only did Shaq des defer to Kobe in key moments, Shaq deferred to Kobe in the fourth quarter. Of course. Shaq deferred to Kobe at the free throw line. And Shaq, even though he could defend, especially if you challenged him, he'd shut you up real quick. Was Shaq really that good? Shaq, in the early years of basketball, he was an interior force around the rim and would always cause any opponent that comes to the rim trouble. Shaquille O'Neal did everything and asked for from a center. He can finish around the rim, he can use his size as an advantage in the post, and he'd be a force of nature at a center position and playing a center position as a lob threat was pretty good and he was an excellent shot blocker at the rim. Shaq can almost dunk on anyone in the NBA or even deny shots in the paint if even anyone to come up to him. And Shaq as himself was a problem for the NBA and for opponents for many years to come as for given the early year set of the NBA. Shaq at this time in the NBA was really good as for a time playing the center position and along the power forward positions in the NBA. What made Shaquille O'Neal so great in basketball was his ability to protect and cause trouble on the rim for defense and offense. Shaq in his career he can do many things you can ask him to. As for his main aspect or basically of his game were dunking at the rim, posting up down low, and blocking shots and playing defense close enough to the rim and cleaning up rebounds. Shaq in his career would average almost 2-3 to three blocks a night and also Shaq would also grab 10-11 to 11 rebounds a night and he was very much on the glass very much well. But Shaq could finish very much and be an interior force on the rim. He would have a good field goal efficiency of basically 58.2% on the same amount of field goal percentage. On the same efficiency Shaq basically got to the rim 16 times on his career which is very much a lot for a center. For Shaq having these stats at this efficiency on 16 attempts at the rim is really much a lot for a center. This happened back in the days in the NBA as for Shaq, if I was reading these stats on basically a modern day, I'd be scared. What makes Shaq so great for a team's perspective is he can be a team anchor on defense and he can basically cause an issue at the rim for most opponents attacking nearby. Shaq also has had good teammate and moral support throughout his career. Shaq has played with almost one of the greatest players in all time in Kobe Bryant and Dwayne Wade, who's also a good shooting guard at for a time, and many others. Shaq has been the second best player on many of the teams he's played on, and he's been really good and he can do pretty much everything you can ask him to throughout all of his career. With his teammates like Kobe and Dwayne Wade, he's won four NBA titles and basically was a main part in the team's winning and success, as for him being almost one of the greatest centers of all time. For Shaq's greatness, he's a good center in the era of modern basketball. Shaq on a good day, he'll give you 23.7 points, 10.9 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and he'll be a force in the paint on a 58.6 true shooting percentage, which is effective. And lastly, for Shaq's career flow in the NBA, Shaq has been a great center in the NBA, and he's had an excellent career throughout his time in the league. He's played for many NBA teams like the Magic, Lakers, and Heat, who he won many championships with, and he was a two-time scoring champ and an all-defensive player of the year, and Shaq was also a lobster as well. As for his heavy weight, he was almost 147 kilograms, as he was 324 pounds, as that was very heavy for a center as for a time in the NBA, and he would almost bully anyone in the paint, as I said already, whether from the post or in a high block. And as Shaq was in today's NBA, he would basically struggle with many centers in the NBA. Many centers now can shoot threes and slow down a player of Shaq's caliber to a far degree. How the game is played now, they basically foul Shaq at the line, and he is a very much questionable free throw shooter. Shaq will shoot a free throw at 52.7%, which is pretty low for a center. Pretty much make that for a case in why Shaq will struggle in the modern NBA. But well, that's my own point for it, and that's really it on why Shaq was really that good and basically a great center in the NBA. And let's just wrap this video off. For Shaquille O'Neal, he had many great things in the NBA. What you can say about Shaq what makes him really good, his ability to protect the paint, his teammates, and moral support, and his career flow and time in the NBA, and for Shaq in the early years of basketball, I think he was pretty much that good at the same position, and his resume says it all, I think he can block shots, he can be forced around the rim, and he can finish on any given circumstances, whether it's in and out of the paint, and he can show his presence on the court at least 7'1", that's what I gotta say about Shaq, and if he was really that good, so if you are new, make sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and your boy, Dean Baby, and more NBA builds on the way, and I'm out, man.
Peace. Back to him. Way to set him up, Scotty Pippen. We've been waiting on that. Great, great pass, Scotty Pippen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Williams passed out of three. Shoots the two. Oh, and Shaquille O'Neal with the stuff over Andrew Bynum. <laughs>